Welcome back to the Offbeat Sports Podcast. Me and Harry back on the show. Uh, Get it, baby. Uh, we're gonna today. We are doing Patriots recap this uh, for Week Two uh, against the Jets. Uh, solid game, solid game for the boys. What are we thinking here? Oh, yeah. Well, so I mean, I don't have a lot of disappointment with this game. The only thing that I could quite possibly say is um, we're really showing struggles in our offensive line. Um, I don't oh, think that's a lot on. of episodes presented. Hey, there we go. All right. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, the only thing I really bad I really saw from this game is um. We're seeing a lot of uh, a lot of problems with our offensive line. Um, it's mainly just like Mac doesn't have a lot of time to get out there, and with the time that he had, he did pretty good. I mean, he had he went twenty two for thirty. He had a uh, he had a solid uh, solid game. Uh, I mean, one hundred eighty six yeah. yards could have been better, but so I, I I personally would say the offensive line I feel like didn't really improve all that much from last week. Um, yeah. I mean, I think they did a little bit better, just like less penalties, obviously. But um, I don't think it was terrible. Uh, most, I think it was just offensive inconsistency is why we didn't blow them out even more. We had, I mean, the defense played phenomenal. Four interceptions, only six points. Uh, that was great, but we could we weren't capitalizing off those four interceptions. That was our problem, and I think offensive inconsistency killed us. I mean, two touchdowns and three field goals. I mean. 25 points does it did the job it does the job it's not right. terrible but like when you have four interceptions you should be scoring a hell of a lot more points That's what um saying. and i don't even blame mac all that much i uh i i think he played a good game he played a clean game yeah. uh like just they kept it they kept his playbook small uh for uh so far but i think i think we need they at some point they need to release him a bit especially i think in the red zone the fact that he's only throwing one touchdown pass this year concerns me, considering he is a throwing quarterback. Yeah. Um, I mean, the running backs are like great. He's rushing a lot. Yeah. The running, the running backs are great. Run running backs are great. I mean, uh, James White with that nice run to start, uh, and then Damian Harris with that beast of a run, breaking eight tackles. We'll take it. I mean, uh, but I Kendrick think Bourne I, throwing him in for a run play that was nice. He got yeah. good ass yards on that too. Yeah, I think. But I think I think they need a. Uh, I don't want to say like expand the playbook because I don't want him to doing what they have Zach Wilson doing by like just launching him and that's why he's throwing interceptions. Yeah. I mean, I think they just need to give him a little bit more of a leash uh, to to throw to see how his arm works. But I think I, I just think we need I think we need to we need to score more. And I think on third down they got to convert. And I think and I think they need to let him th- throw the ball on third down a lot hey, more. And- like I was saying last week, like I was saying last week, how we need to incorporate the t- uh, and, yeah incorporate the tight ends more. Yeah, Johnny Smith it. was second and team. It was second and team for targets. I mean, Jacoby Myers and James White both had six. James White caught all six of his targets for forty-five. Um, Hunter Henry, two receptions, forty-two yards, four targets. Uh, Johnny Smith, four receptions, twenty-eight yards, five targets like that. He, they're using them, well, which is what like, we called it. We, we said last week. We said. They're gonna, they're gonna. We said it last week. You can go check yeah. the film. Go check the film. Go we're, watch it. We, we said we had a whole we said ten minutes. They, of talk we about said this. they need to incorporate the tight ends more. And I said they're gonna do. They're gonna do it. They're gonna ease it in. And that's what they're doing. They're easing the tight ends into the offense more. And they're gonna, they're gonna act like they're targeting more of their receivers. And then, then utilize those tight ends differently. It's gonna be different every game. What we're gonna see for them because they don't want to like force it to the tight ends. And then the team's just like focus on them and they're going to mix and, it up uh, a bit one thing that doesn't get talked about a lot Jawan bentley had seven tackles by himself he, yeah he leads the team in tackles and josh uh, josh uche two sets yeah, josh, uche. <laughs> josh uche uh, so I, I saw this today matt judon has the highest percentage in the league uh like a pressure rate highest uh pressure rate in the league number two is josh uche yeah, Uche or whatever it, his name is. That's they, that's nuts. That's nuts. They, Judon had a sack, a QB hit, five pressures, uh, and only and one missed tackle. Uche had two sacks, QB hit, three pressures, two stops, and a missed tackle. Uh, I, I mean, I think I think this game was. Um, I, I mean, to me, it was obvious that we were going to do a lot better this game than we did the first time. Well, I was but, concerned at halftime, and when we had three interceptions, and it was like 
what was it? I don't remember what the halftime score was, but it was like I think it was uh thirteen. Yeah, it was thirteen to three. We were only up ten. Yeah. So I, I was just we should have we, realistically we should have blown that team out. And the defense yeah. played great. Uh, like I just said, it they had three, like they had three sacks or yeah, three sacks. Uh, it, they gotta they gotta. I mean they they gotta figure the offense gotta figure it out. The defense is doing their job. Six they let up seventeen week one, six points week two. That's very good. I mean the offenses that we played weren't like like elite by any standards, but these are good like these are solid teams that we gotta we gotta capitalize there's, on. There's I really mean, only like, three go ahead, go ahead. No, I just think I think we need to capitalize more when we do get those opportunities, especially when we're playing yeah. a team like the Jets. That's when you can open it up a little bit more. I don't want to like go crazy, but that's when you can open it up a little bit more so you can basically see what you're working with, especially when you do, when you have a bit of a lead. Let's let's look at it. I mean, like you got to you got you to take a look. There's only three real um, problems I had with this game. Um, I have two for offense, one for defense. Uh, I'll give my offense first. Uh, like I said at the start of this podcast, um, the line. I mean, it's it's not good to see the line kind of fall apart quick. I mean, it, they're giving them well, four seconds. We also we also had uh, we have Trent Brown out, which once he's back, it'll help. And yeah. I think he should be back this week. But uh, and then but, we had then we had Durant do horrendous and then they brought Haran yeah. in and he was doing he was doing decent and I got hurt yeah. like right after and it was like okay well <clears throat> I mean I mean Durant did recover the one fumble that Mac had but like at the same time it's also his fault that the fumble happened because he let yeah. his lane wide open yeah. but anyways anyways so like we need to see we need to see improvement in the offensive line because if Max because uh, that leads me to my second point um, Max really conservative with the ball which is understandable, un- understandable because one, Bill Belichick, and two, that's his second NFL game, so he's not trying to do bad. He's not trying to like show weakness, but like you gotta you gotta sling it out there. But like that that also is more some of the offensive line's fault because they're not giving him enough time to actually see those outings. He's gonna go the short. He's gonna go to the short look, and it makes sense. But like you, you gotta one, you gotta give him more time to pocket. And two, he's got to move around if the pocket collapses. Like, he's staying in the pocket for way too long. Like, we, I mean, uh, yeah, he's not a running quarterback. He's not very, like, agile on his feet. But, like, you got to try. You know what I mean? Like, you got to get out. You got to go for those, like, risky passes. Like, mm-hmm. if you want to win a game. Yeah, a we, little. We, we, can't, we can't see, like, six red zones and only score twice. You know what yeah. I mean? And then my last, my last big problem with the game is yeah. – way too many way too many rushing yards we they had they had they had two running backs go off for 60 or sorry michael carter went 59 ty johnson 150 um they're letting up big gains each time each each running back averaged like close to five points michael carter 5.4 ty jones 4.2 tevin coleman 4.8 zach wilson the quarterback had 6.3 it's it's like it's not a huge problem because none of them scored. So we're like obviously yeah. showing some restraint in the end zone, but all teams can pack the line in an end zone. You know what I mean? Let me raise it's, the question. Yeah. So we saw, we saw, all right. So this is like the, uh, like the offensive snap count. So James, James White got 28 snaps, which is 49% of the snaps. And Damian Harris got 24, 42%. Does that concern you? No. Honestly, it no. doesn't. It doesn't. Honestly, it doesn't. I, I, I feel like Damian Harris should be getting more touches, but well, here's a here's a. I thing. think after I, last week, there, I, I think, I think that was probably a punishment week. It, yeah, it, it doesn't really concern me because one, Damian Harris still had 16 carries, 16 carries, 62 yards, so he was getting touches a lot. James White only had five running carries. The reason why James White's on the field a lot more than Damian Harris is. That's because he's a lot bigger of an asset in the passing game. Because he can do those short routes and he can go out for like little screens and out routes that just get us yards, like easy yards. And then he's agile, he's fast. And we've seen James White at his best, like getting 20 yard runs or 20, 20 yard catches and like making it like 35 and getting a touchdown off of it. So it makes sense that James White's getting more touches because Damian Harris is still newer than James White. But Damian Harris is still a beast. Like, yeah, give him the ball. But I think I, right now, as it sees it for me, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly pretty happy with how that's going so far. 
So I, I just wanna I wanna I wanna talk about Mac Jones real quick. Um yeah. I, I agree with you on the whole Damian Harris thing. I'm not really worried. I think it was more of a punishment week personally. I uh mm-hmm. uh but I wanna talk about um uh, I want to talk about uh, Mac Jones real quick. So Mac Jones, uh, when we're looking, when we're looking at this week, I mean, I would say pretty much, I would say he was average. I wouldn't say he was great. I wouldn't say he was bad. No, yeah, I'd say the same. I'd say he was like he did his job. Uh, I would like to see more, um, but I mean, I I kind of like it, and I, I don't know, I don't know about you, but I like how I do. Like, although I want to see more, and I want to see them open it up a bit, like I said, but like. I don't, I'm not I'm not too like worried about like watching them rush it because I think now he's getting comfortable and then when we need big plays out of him probably for like the Tampa game we probably won't need as much for the Saints game. I think yeah. they're all kind of like riding up to that Tampa game where we're going to he's going to have to make some big plays uh to win that game and uh I think I uh, but I mean I would like to see them exploit these lesser defenses a little bit more with him. But I just think uh, let him get comfortable. He is a rookie still. He is young. Uh, but I don't. I don't know what you think. What do you think? Like, do you think they should let him work a little bit more? I do. Um, like, like, like I said, um, he's not a very agile the quarterback. But like, shit, if Tom Brady every now and then is scrambling for six. You might as well go for it as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, I did notice he had one play where. He, he should have just ran the ball, but then he tried, like, forcing something and almost was picked. And I feel like he doesn't well, have that confidence in his running. Like, But, like, when he, he – it's wide open, just get a couple yards and slide. Like, See, the only reason why I'm not too upset with Mac Jones is, is yeah, he's playing pretty average. Yeah. But over the past two weeks, he's 51 for 69. That's a really oh, yeah, high yeah. completion rate. But so like, like, it's also like very short. It's passes. all short passes. Yeah. Like he, okay. So if you're 51, if you're throwing 51 passes, you're gonna get 467 yards and one touchdown. Yeah, that's room for concern. But like, we we're also like a pretty run heavy team, so it, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily concern me. But I don't like it either. If that makes sense. Yeah. I think well, I think I honestly think they're building up for the Tampa game because he's going to yeah. have to make big plays in that game, and so they want to the build only... his confidence up. I think yeah. it, it, I'd be very surprised if this weekend, if the playbook didn't open up a little bit more for him. I would be very, very surprised if McDaniel's didn't open up that playbook a little bit uh, to see what they can do against a lesser defense in New Orleans versus Tampa Bay. Yeah. So, so personally, all right, if, we're at, if we're looking at next week against the Saints. Um, Saints are one and one, and we're one and one. But um, Jameis Winston, is very sloppy with the ball. Twenty-five for forty-two. So he slop- he's he, what I like is he's sloppy with the ball, and our cornerbacks are good. Our our, our, our really secondaries good. our secondary is good. Let me say because we but got a good safety is, too. Though the reason, so I'm like I'm not scared, but I'm worried. Does that make sense? Because Alvin Kamara and our run yeah. our run defense they is can make very big plays. Poor. Our run defense plays. is very poor. So Alvin Kamara, if you're if you're out there playing fantasy, if you have Alvin Kamara on your team, expect right. a big game from Alvin Kamara. I mean, Alvin Kamara should start every week, but like about everybody's like, oh, did we bench Alvin Kamara? Like, average, like only has 17. Who did they lose to this week? They lost to um. Lost real bad to the Panthers. Oh yeah. Real bad to the Panthers. Like, what was the actual score of that game? So the Panthers don't have a great rush defense. That's why I was like, no, I was, I thought it was weird that Kamara didn't succeed. But you can't. The only thing about that is you can't like you can't expect that every time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like because they, they they have a good defense, but yeah. it's also it's also like. All right, so I just want to bring it back yeah. to the Patriots a little bit, but uh, yep. So we went over running backs. We went over. Mac Jones, we went over offensive line. We went over the defense a bunch. I mean, there's not much to talk about, but with the defense, they played great other than the rush defense. But yeah. um, let's talk about the receivers. Uh, Jacoby I mean, Myers, um, six targets, but only, Jacoby Myers only pulled in four. Uh, yeah, he looked pretty good. I mean, uh, I feel like Kendrick Bourne's still like a little, a little bit He's invisible new. out there. Yeah. Uh, I think we need to see him more. Tight ends look good. I mean, but. Uh, I think they need to get. I think they need to get uh, Born involved more still. And I think I think opening up the. I think Born comes with opening up the playbook. I don't. I think See, he's more. 
I don't think he's like a, a guy that you want to find in the short the short range. That's why I here's think we're not here's what I here's what I'd like to see some more of. I'd like to see some more strong sets where uh, where we got Hunter Henry out on the field, we have Johnny out on the left side, and we have Jacoby Myers, our single wide receiver, and we have both Damian Harris and James White out there because we have Damian Harris in like the fullback set and James White in like the HB set. We could have James White curl out and Damian Harris should set a block or switch it. I'd like to see Damian Harris in the pass game as well. We don't know what he can do out there at all. We, we've only seen him on his run game and we know he's running strong. Use, I, I personally want to see them use JJ Taylor more, former guest. But uh, I, I think, oh, yeah. but I think they could use, I think JJ Taylor is a guy that they use when James White's gone. Yes. And I mean, he had two carries, three yards. His longest was the, was two yards. He but, only got five snaps. That's what I'm saying. And it's, I feel like it's underusing what we have for like a solid rushing core. Because like, yeah, we lost, we lost, did we lose Rex? We lost Rex. Yeah. 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 He's gone. Yeah. So we lost Rex. Um, but like, if you, we lost Sony as well. But like, that also opens up more opportunities to show like yeah. the new guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Damian Harris is, Damian Harris is performing. And mm-hmm. James White is a solid receiver. So honestly, if you know, we pushed, all right, here, finish there. If we, all right, so you know how the Falcons did Cordell Patterson? Yeah, he's a wide receiver, but they pushed him running back. If we tried to switch that around with with James White, uh, we could we could use James White as our new slot because with Edelman, with Edelman, I, I think I think he's more. I think uh, James White is a guy that succeeds coming out of the backfield. I don't know if he would be. I think he's a guy that move can move to the slot, but he's not someone who's just a slot guy. I, no, I think I, he's just. I hundred percent agree, but I'm excited. I think if you're going to do anything with that, you go to Gunner. But uh, I'm not sure if he's ready. But uh, would you know what I'm excited about? I'm excited to see uh, Mr. Nikhil Harry come back for Week Four yeah. against Tampa Bay. That's going to be a good one. Uh, but the, well, no, the only... think about it. So, freaking Tampa Bay's uh, secondary is all like destroyed they had a, they had they had their uh that number one guy go out they had their number two guy go out last week uh i don't know if i don't know what his status is but i know they like they, they're very fragile right now at the in the secondary so i think if i think they might try and exploit that so jason pierre paul he's questionable kevin minter's out uh zach triner uh he's injury reserve Sean Murphy Bunting, he's injury reserve. Cam yeah, Gill's injury guy. reserve. John Mulkins injury reserve. Like they have a lot of guys out. And I mean, so, with Antonio Brown question or Antonio Brown's out and Jadon Mickers, well, uh, Mickens questionable. That, that really only leaves them with two wide receivers. So their offensive game isn't going to look too scary at all. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't I mean, want to get Gronk, ahead. I, I don't want to go and get ahead, but it's also Tom Brady and Gronk's playing out of his mind, and that connection yeah. seems like it's back in full 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 stride so well i mean it's definitely a game to be worried about i'm not gonna not gonna neglect it at all those are two of the most prolific that's one of the most dynamic duos in the entirety of the nfl that we've ever seen so you can't you can never count out tom brady and especially we're playing we're playing from the bottom here. So like let's let's be real like nobody expects us to win this game but I'm, I am excited to see how Mac Jones performs on that defense because it's seen as such this strong, strong defense. So if we can play well against it, oh, man. Yeah. That's, when our, so, that's when our running defense really needs to pick it up. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, just overall, just kind of my takeaways from the Jets game, rush defense needs to be better. Uh, I think they should loosen the reins on Mac a little bit. Uh, defense is great. I think we need offensive consistency, uh, which comes, I think, with the back thing. Uh, but what are your main takeaways uh, real quick, and then we can uh, wrap it up? I'd have to agree. I mean, if seeing Mac be more versatile in the pocket and outside of it as well, that it, it's really what we're striving for. I want to see him. I want to see him push himself. I want to see him push his abilities and see what he can do because I feel like he's not confident in himself yet. If we can see him build that confidence after this strong win, I wouldn't say strong, but after this win, after this win where he played pretty solid 22 for 30, if we can see him really try and like push himself a little bit against the saints, which has a strong defensive core, that would make me excited. If he plays conservative against the saints, that's telling me he's going to play conservative against the bucks. We need to work on a rush defense. We need to make sure we're stopping inside runs because inside runs are killing us. And we have what Dante Hightower, like, 
what, what are you doing? And Devin McCourty, I mean, Devin McCourty's in there as well. We, we have, we have Josh, Uche, we have pass rush, which is good, but we need something to stop the run as well. Mm-hmm. Um, if we can, if we can work on our, I think, I think in the practice this week, what they should have been working on is inside run defense zone and just, just deep routes, like post, post, like right midfield. If he can, if he can sling at midfield in the middle of that cover two, cover three, that that's what I'm looking for. But All other right. than that, other than that, I think we rushed great. I think Mac is doing solid. And I think, I think our wide receivers are really picking themselves up. All right, so that's all I got for today. Um, thank you, everyone, for uh, listening or watching or however you watch it. Uh, today's episode was presented by Celsius. Thank you to them. Uh, they're great. Go check them out. Uh, thank you, Harry, for joining me. Uh, of course, as and, always. Uh, yeah, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you next week for uh, next week's Pat's uh, Pat's recap. Hey, we'll make sure you check the out Saints. the uh, make sure you check out the NFL Pickums, where I'm, you know, obviously still in the lead, but uh, you know, are you? I, that's pretty possible. I don't know. Go, we'll we'll, we'll know. check the scoreboard. We'll check the You're scoreboard. Right. All right. Maybe you want to check uh check the scoreboard tonight. Huh? All, right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hey, be safe, everybody.